Hi guys and welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley. I just want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Let's hope 2022 is better than the last two years. So today I'm going to be doing beef goulash, but my own way. So yeah, don't I've got to turn that on. <laughs> Good start. Yeah, so don't be coming saying, oh, it's supposed to be done like this and that. It's done how me and my family like to have it, okay? So, well, I'll pop some oil in here and I'll let you know what you need for the recipe. So I've got 300 grams of sh and shiitake, oyster and king oyster mushrooms mixed. I've not chopped them, I've just pulled them apart. I've got between 700 and 800 grams of diced beef. Oil, I'm using garlic oil for frying one large onion diced, three tablespoons of butter, 500 ml of beef broth, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. It's supposed to be 150 ml of sour cream, but I don't like sour cream, neither does the family. So this has been substituted for 200 grams of cream cheese, salt and pepper, one teaspoon of mixed herbs, two bay leaf, two cloves of garlic, and a little bit of plain flour. Wash my meat as you can see just when you think it's clean it still drips out a load of blood. So I'm going to cook off this meat a little bit. I'm not cooking this meat all the way through on the hob. What I'm going to do is put it in the oven for about two and a half hours on gas mark four. It will be soothing, uh, soothing. <laughs> we'll be just serving ours with the pasta here. This is Tagliatelle and this is from Amazon. I'll get my husband to link it, actually. Steve, link it for the people, yeah? That way, if I shout when he's editing, he's going to wear that. <laughs> it's very in inexpensive off Amazon. They've got some really nice pasta on there. So if you want to use that, that's where I got it from. So like I said, we're just going to cook this. So it's not actually, this is pre-recorded, so this is not actually New Year for me. What date are we on? The 29th today. So I've still got the New Year's dinner to do yet. Which I'm looking forward to. I've got a nice big, huge piece of pork loin. So we're having a roast pork. So I'm looking forward to that. Not looking forward to making it, but I'm looking forward to that. So I thought I'd go for something that I can just stick in the oven, to be honest, and let it cook itself. Once this 10, 20 minutes is done, it'll cook itself. And you guys know pasta doesn't take long at all. So, yeah. How long does this pasta take? Let me have a look. See, I never go by the timings, I just go by, it says seven minutes, I just go by what I can feel when I check it. So what I'm going to do is chuck in, I've got frozen garlic, so each cube is one clove, essentially. I have got fresh in the fridge but I'm just being lazy. I keep stuff in. Everyone should keep stuff in for when they're feeling lazy. Who's going to judge you in your own kitchen? So in this as well I need an onion. I want to move the schnizzle. out the way and we'll put an onion. 
don't know if you can see over there. Yeah, you can see the onions are. That's good enough. So I'm just going to leave the meat alone a minute while I just chop up an onion. While it runs away. So I'm hoping all of you had a great Christmas. Just got to spend some time with family and friends. Hopefully nobody spent Christmas on their own. And please don't tell me if you did in the comments because I feel so sad. Just dice up your onion. No specific size here, just dice it up or chuck it on the floor. That bubbly, as I keep saying, and to anyone knows, the fish tank I've got in the kitchen. It's got my baby puffers in there at the minute, so I can't turn the uh, filter off. So, just ignore it. So that's the onion chopped. That is the only chopping in this. As I say, the mushrooms, you, you don't want to chop them because you don't want to lose them in this. I've pre-done mine. Believe it or not, that's 300 grams, but because they're so spongy. You can, of course, use white mushrooms if you want, or um, chestnut mushrooms. These, honestly, guys, let me get that piece of meat because that's annoying me now. I need some scissors. Don't do that at home, not advisable, it burns. But that was driving my OCD nuts. I can't remember what I was saying there. Mushroom, yeah. Um, these were, for all of these, I think it was three pound. A little bit more expensive than the regular mushrooms, granted. But the taste, you can definitely taste the difference between these and um, regular white mushrooms. In here, because I've got quite a lot of liquid in here from the meat, I'm going to put three, like that, tablespoons. Not measuring it out precisely, I'm just putting it in. I can see how much liquid has come out of mine. see if it can take more you do want a nice thick sauce so that it coats your um, tagliatelle or whichever pasta you decide to use I think that'll be all right so you're going to cook out the flour for at least two minutes There's nothing worse than a raw flour taste Once this goes into the oven, guys, there's nothing else for you to do to it. Unless you want to check it. Well, I do. I usually pull it out halfway through cooking. Give it a stir, check it, see if it needs any more like liquid putting in anything. Check it for seasoning because once it's cooking, the, season, the taste of it does change. My husband thinks we should do... Um, series on air fryer meals what you can make in the air fryer if you think that's a good idea just let me know and if there's enough interested then I'll do that so now I'm going to put in my cream cheese so this is my substitute for sour cream by all means if you like sour cream put that in I don't the family doesn't It's not something I've ever got ever taste for. Give that a good mix. It's starting to cling on the bottom of the pan. I'm not worried about that because once I put the stock in, 
it'll bring it up so that's fine so I'm going to mix this in before I put my stock in that's my beef stock Thickening up nicely. I've turned it down to medium, so mine's gas, so that's between the high and low flame. Just above the simmer. Now I'm just scratching the bottom of the pan with this plastic spoon, so I'm not actually scratching it. Just bringing up all the all the flavour that's caught to the bottom of the pan. It's nice and creamy. So you want a teaspoon of mixed herbs, cracked black pepper, season to your own taste. I've used reduced sodium stock because I wanted to add in some smoke salt in case anyone's not seen it that's what smoke salt looks like definitely not as salty in taste as other salts a couple of bay leaves need to refill this oh well three there never mind one is small and a tablespoon of Dijon. So that's the ingredients in. Told you nothing complicated. Mushrooms. The mushrooms will cook down and release some liquid. I wanted some shiitake mushrooms the other day. I didn't have any so I started looking online on Amazon you can buy them dried and they're really inexpensive so I think that's what I'm gonna do because all you have to do is rehydrate them in, the, in a bit of water so yeah anything that's gonna make life easier and things like that that you don't buy all the time unless you're cooking with them if you want to cook something random and out of the blue like say you want to do this you've got everything in except the mushrooms if you add them in dried form I'm just going to add a little bit more liquid if you add them in the dried form half an hour you've got your mushrooms once you've stuck them in some hot water so I definitely think dried ingredients like that are a good thing to have in the cupboard Bit more water because I'm going to simmer this for 30 minutes and then the other two hours in the oven on gas floor. So turn this down, leave it for half an hour, set my timer. Halfway through that time, I'm going to preheat my oven because I don't want this to drop in temperature. So it's as easy as that guys, I'll show you before I put it into the oven and then literally all you've got to do is cook the pasta and throw it in this pot when the pasta's done. Couldn't be simpler. So I will see you when I pop it into the oven, okay? So we're at the stage now where I can put it in the oven. 
don't need more liquid in there, that'll be fine. Turn this top off. Because it's been sat here untouched for half an hour somewhere in a while, I'm just getting the bits off the bottom. how we're looking. If I can zoom in. Creamy and meaty. Just want to make sure I get all this off the bottom before I put it into the oven. So I'm going to put this in now. in now cooking oven it's pain in the bum this one for two hours so that will take us to Appas four and then at the two hour mark I'll take it out of the oven with the lid still on and just leave it on here on top of the hob no heat going to it or anything like that until I've cooked the pasta So that's it, it's as easy as that. I'm just going to test, see if I need anything else. Um, what do you think? A bit of Worcestershire, I think we'll miss. Obviously this is not in the actual recipe, so don't worry if you don't like Worcestershire. Actually I can't find it. If you don't like Worcestershire sauce, this is just a personal preference. Make sure I've got Worcester and not soy. I've done that to before. Get the Worcester in there. Try again. Always test your food, guys. Yeah, that's better. And you, these mushrooms, you can really taste the difference. There's such a flavour from these mushrooms where I think white mushrooms, they don't really have any taste to them. But honestly, guys, do try these. Like I said, they're not that expensive. Even if you buy maybe one of these and then just some of the white mushrooms but they really do add a flavour nice flavour to it right we're done with that and it can now go in the oven so i will see you again when it's nearly time to plate up okay guys right so we've had about an hour in the oven there's my spoon so i'm just going to give this a stir it appears I've washed everything else up except the spoon. Obviously anything that you put into the oven in a dish, it does stick to the sides. Won't worry about that, it'll wash. Oh, nice and thick look. Let's see if the meat's getting tender. So I want to use a spoon. Not ready yet. Try and find another big piece. No. Oh, that flavour's got nicer though in the oven. I've just remembered. Guys, don't forget to remove your bay leaves <laughs> before you serve it up. You don't want someone chewing on a bay leaf. 
Mm, that flavour's got even nicer. So there's absolutely nothing at all here stuck on the bottom. It was just that little bit browning on the side there. Can't wait for tea. All of these sort of meals are so easy. This is what I have such a problem with in the summer. It's all salads this and salads that. It's boring. Right, all I'm going to do now is pop it back into the oven for another hour and then we'll test the meat then. I won't take this out of the oven until the meat is tender. Okay, so I'll see you then. Right, so this is the second time I've took it out. Let's have a look now to see if the meat's done. Give it a good stir. See if we can zoom you in. Right, let's see if the meat's co cooked any further. Let's excuse the kids in the background, they're arguing with each other. So if you hear any screaming, please don't phone the police. It's just my six and eight year old. Oh, that went in. Oh yeah. That's... That went through that time. So, I'm now going to give it long enough in the oven. Ooh -wee. I'm going to put it back in the oven. Long enough for me to grate some cheese for these, garlic baguettes, and get a pan of water on for the tagliatelle. So I'll be back shortly. Right guys, so all I'm going to do now is put the pasta on. I've took the casserole dish out of the oven. I've got some garlic bread to have with it. As you can see, half regular, half cheese. My daughter won't eat garlic bread, but she will if it's got cheese on it. So, yeah. Things you do as a mum. So that's all I'm going to do. And all I'm going to do now is cook the pasta. I think most of you know how to cook pasta and garlic bread. And I'll show you it plated up. So that's it for now and I'll see you when it's all plated. Bye. So guys, this is it. This is it plated up. That's the beef stroganoff. The tagliatelle and garlic bread. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. New subscribers, thank you so much for coming over. The old subscribers, oh, found a bay leaf. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking with this nutter. Thank you. Bye.